Ryu Jinx is one of the best ways to play Switch games on your computer, so today I'm going to show you how to set it up. The minimum system requirements are 8GB of RAM and a video card that supports OpenGL 4.5 or Vulkan 1.2 or higher. If you're unsure of your PC specs, just search system information in the Windows hotbar and you can check what you have. As you can see, I have an AMD Ryzen 7 and I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. But once you know what you have, you can Google what version of OpenGL or Vulkan you can support. But once you're ready, you can click the Ryujinx link in the description and head over to the download page in the top right. As you can see, this is supported on Windows, Mac, and two different versions of Linux. But for this video, I'm gonna be doing this on Windows. So go ahead and click the download, and it should download Ryujinx. And then you can head over into your file explorer, into your downloads, and you should see Ryujinx as a zip file. So you will need an extraction software. I use WinRAR, but you can also use 7-zip, but we'll open it up. So now you can install it to your desktop, you can install it anywhere on your computer, but I personally am using a hard drive. This is where I'm gonna be placing all of my emulators. So I have this Maxone 500 gigabyte hard drive. And as you can see, I have everything I need on here, including my games. So once you know where you're gonna install it, just drag this publish folder and place it inside. If you are interested in getting a hard drive, I do have some linked down below in the description. We can close the zip file and you can delete it from your downloads if you want. It's no longer needed. And just to organize my hard drive a little bit more, I'm gonna make an emulators folder, put that inside, and now we can open it up. So we're gonna click on Ryujinx, the application, and it's gonna run for the first time. We'll see two windows pop up. The first one will be a code window, and then the emulator will run. Here's the code and here's the emulator. You will get this prompt when you open Ryujinx for the first time. So there are a couple files we need to add. So just click OK. And now we're gonna head into File, Open Ryujinx Folder. And now after you ran Ryujinx for the first time, it created the proper folders. Go inside of your system folder. And here we need to place our prod.keys file and our title.keys. So I'm gonna move this one to the right open up my hard drive where I have my prod.keys and title.keys. You can get this by backing them up off of your switch. But once you have them, just highlight both of them. You can cut and paste into that system folder with the profiles.json. Once you've done that, you are good. You can close your file windows, close Ryujinx. You can close your browser if you haven't already. If you don't wanna to have to go all the way into this folder every time you wanna play Ryujinx, just right click on the application, hit show more options, and create a shortcut. And now we can place this anywhere we want on our computer. So you can place it on your desktop, or in my case, I'm going to cut and go back to the root of my hard drive and paste. Now I can just double click on that and it will load into Ryujinx. And there we go, we successfully installed the prod.keys and title.keys. Next up, we need to install the firmware. Now we have a couple different options. If you have a game backup like so, you can use that and install the firmware from there, or you can get a zip file. Google may be your friend, but we're gonna go up to tools, install firmware, and here's our option. We can install it from an XCI, which is our game backups, or a zip file. So we're gonna click on those, and if I go down to my hard drive, I have firmware 18.0 right here. So I'm just gonna click it and press open. It will give a confirmation, just click yes. And it was successfully installed. Press okay and we are good. And now let's add our games. So go into the options, settings. And now we're gonna go down to game directories, click add. So I have my games inside of my games folder and switch. So I'm going to select the folder that they are in and click select, apply, okay, and there they are. Just for the record, I do own all of these games as you can see, but before we can play them, we need to add a controller. So most Bluetooth controllers work, but I highly suggest getting a Switch Pro controller or a third-party Switch Pro controller, which I have here. This one was only 25 Canadian dollars and it works great for PC and the Switch. I'll have it linked down below on Amazon if you are interested. But first step, if you've never connected a Bluetooth controller to your PC, go to your Bluetooth setting, click add device, Make sure your Bluetooth controller is searching for devices. Go on Bluetooth and you should see it pop up. There's Pro Controller. I'm gonna click on it. 
and it's connected. We are ready to go. Click done, we can close that window. And now back in Ryujinx, go into options, settings, input, and under input device, just make sure the controller you just connected is selected. So Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, we're good. Controller type, make sure it is on Pro Controller. Now you can use an Xbox controller, PS5 controller, etc. Anything you can connect to your computer, but if they are different button mappings compared to the Switch Pro controller, you may want to map the buttons so that they match up with the Switch Pro controller. And all you have to do for that is click on the button, press the button on the controller, and it will map. Press A, and if I select B, you can see that it changes to B, but obviously, we're gonna want to add A. So go ahead and map your buttons if you are not using a switch controller. But once you're good, hit apply and okay. And now we have a controller, we have our games, but before we load them, let me just show you a couple different settings you can change. So under options, settings, under keyboard hotkeys, this will give you the option to toggle your V-Sync. You can screenshot with F8. Of course, you can change these hotkeys to whatever you want. If you have a Steam Deck, you can map it to that. But now we're gonna go to graphics, now here you'll have two options for your graphics backend. Vulkan is a better option, but depending on your PC's specs, you may need to use OpenGL. So I'm just gonna leave mine on Vulkan, and you should see your graphics card right here as well. You have an option to upscale the resolution. If we click on the resolution scale, we can upgrade it to 4K, but it's not recommended. You will need a really good PC to run this smoothly. But if you wanna try it, you can try upscaling but 1080p is pretty good. So the left number is for the handheld mode and the right number, so 1080p will be for the docked mode. And remember, you can always test these settings out by playing the games and if it doesn't work, you can change it back. So I'm just gonna leave mine on native. If you changed anything, just hit apply and okay. If you wanna make your icons larger, scale them up. It looks a little bit better. And one more thing, if you go into options, you have an option to start games in full screen mode. You can check that if you prefer, and you have an option to show the console. So what the console is, is this screen full of code. So if you uncheck it, the next time you open Ryujinx, it will automatically minimize your console instead of keeping it up on the screen. It won't fully be hidden, you'll still be able to open it up, but it will not stay on the screen, it will be automatically minimized, so it's just a nice little setting. Now if you have updates or DLC you want to install along with the game, just right click on the game you want, and you'll be able to manage title updates and manage DLC. And then you just add it to the directory and you'll be good to go. It's the same way you add the game. And before you try playing a game and having it not work, I will link a compatibility list for Ryujinx for the games that are known to work and then ones that are known to have issues. So make sure you check that your games work before starting them. So let's hop into new Super Mario Bros U Deluxe and try it out. And there we go, as you can see in the bottom left of the emulator, you will see docked. That means we will be getting that 1080p resolution instead of 720. And if you wanna stop playing this game, switch to another one, just hit escape and you can exit the game. But there you go, you can now play your Switch games on your computer. If this video helped you out, please make sure to hit that like button and comment down below. It really helps support the channel. And if you're interested in more videos about Switch emulation or Switch modding in general, make sure to hit that subscribe button and keep an eye out for future videos. Thank you for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you guys on the next video. Stay funky and happy modding!